Dalfries, Mr. Horgan. My name is Joseph Horgan, and I'm a small business owner from Kensington. I drink water, and I vote for candidates who protect our clean drinking water system, which includes Ten Mile Creek. It's time to stop pretending that the two primary corporate land speculators in this proposal, Peterson and Pulte, are good community members whose concern is for the neighbors of Ten Mile Creek or the residents of Montgomery County. Last year, while Montgomery citizens voted for question four, supporting the Maryland Dream Act, and in support of our fellow immigrant county residents, while citizens voted for question six, supporting marriage equality, equality Peterson was busy pouring more than $271,000 fighting against dreamers and fighting against marriage equality. The data show that Pulte is anti-homeowner and anti-worker. For example, Massachusetts ordered Pulte subcontractors to pay more than $400,000 in back wages, overtime, and penalty. A simple background check would have uncovered that several of the subcontractors were recidivist wage thieves. Last year, Massachusetts also ordered Pulte subcontractors to pay more than $200,000 in unpaid wages and penalties, many of whom were undocumented workers. Carpenters Union spokesperson Mark Ehrlich said Pulte writes contracts to completely insulate themselves from any accountability. Last year, the town of Grafton, Massachusetts sued Pulte for $54 million for misleading financial statements. Homeowners in Arizona won a $13 million award after shoddy construction of Pulte-built homes were, was uncovered. In San Antonio, Texas, homeowners with cracks in the new Pulte Homes Foundations complained that their Pulte was, quote, not living up to their promises. Quote, we feel dumped upon and wronged by Pulte, noted some Ca South Carolina neighbor Mike Clemens, who six, where 600 homeowners are suing Pulte. In Georgia, Pulte's construction practices caused major erosion, problems unfixed, despite multiple stop work orders and warnings from Pulte's own consultants, resulting in an estimated $5 million in fines plus the cost of restoration. Quote, the arrogance that Pulte showed they just didn't care, said landowner Mac Trent. An EPA inspector found that Pulte dumped sediment into Akatink and Piscataway Creeks in Virginia and Maryland a few years after a multi-state and EPA Clean Water Act settlement. In Arizona, Pulte subcontractors ran roughshod over the workers. Kickbacks to foremen, 13-hour days in the desert sun without water, sexual harassment, speed-ups, and ignoring safety precautions all common practices at Pulte subcontractors, and more often than not, with vulnerable immigrant workers. These are just a few of the plethora of examples demonstrating how Pulte failed homeowners, workers, and the environment. They may blame their failures on their subcontractors, but where was Pulte's oversight? Where is the responsibility? Pulte and Peterson are not good corporate neighbors. It's time to stop pretending otherwise. Thank you very much, Mr. Horgan.